Coming Back Farms in Cocoa, Florida. We're here to look at uh, some of the guns they make, some of the new stuff they got coming out. How they make guns. There's a lot of uh, uh, AR assemblers in the country, but they, they're making stuff here at Diamondback. Then. Uh, they're not just assembling parts that somebody else makes. They're not importing anything. They're using American steel to make American parts, and uh, they do a, do a great job at it. Their other company makes airboats. They make airboats, they make guns, which are two entirely different things, but uh, they've got top quality on both of them. You know, uh, the way Diamondback makes their guns here, they, uh, like I said, they've got a lot of CNC machinery. They can keep their costs down, but they're making a quality firearm at an affordable price. So, you know, you don't have to pay $4,000 for an AR if you don't want to. You can get good stuff at uh, uh, affordable prices, same on our pocket guns. You know, we've been in their service department back there. They got uh, uh, the, the guy said his goal is not to have a gun here anymore than a week. You know, uh, all farm companies don't do that. They'll sit on the gun a long time. I'm about to get some in and get some out if you have a problem with it. But the cool little pocket guns, they got some more stuff in the works on the way. They'll be introducing here in a couple of months. And uh, uh, anyway, we're glad to be here. We've seen some stuff. Come see some more. And uh, so check out them at uh, Diamondback Farms. Kaylee Cox at Diamondback Farms. Kaylee, what do you do here at Diamondback? I'm the marketing director for Diamondback. And you're one of the best in the business. You know, some marketing directors, they don't, they don't really understand what it is, but you right. always communicate, yeah. you always return phone calls, and, and that's one reason that uh, Diamondback is successful like they are, is the people here. And, uh, I totally agree with that. What all do you make here at Diamondback Farms? I know you got ARs uh, based things, you got uh, pocket guns, you also got a larger uh, Pistol now, full size now. We did a review on we that. We have a subcompact coming yeah. out this year. Uh huh. Was that the AM2? Is that what it was? Yes, sir. Okay. You know, we tried to, you said that I'm good at uh, being in the marketing mm -hmm. business. Um, we are a really big family here at Diamondback, and I think we try to spread that throughout the industry in the way that we communicate with people and the way that we keep in contact with people because at the end of the day, if I don't communicate with them, we don't get what we want. Cool. And that's more business.
Bobby Diamond Diamondback. They've got a really special rifle here. I'll let him tell you about it. Go ahead, Bobby. This is a, a, a gun we're coming out with a Southern Grind. Um, it's a, we're going to sell the product, but we're also helping this uh, camp for his special children who need. Uh, it's going to come in a 6.5 Creedmoor or a 308. Um, we, uh, we put a special coating on this gun, a bill of grips, night force scope, ambidextrous charging handles, uh, stainless fluted barrels on all of them. Comes with our muzzle brake. Uh, we're offering a limited number of these guns. We're going to build 500 308 and 500 Creedmoors. Every gun and every knife that Southern Grind makes comes with the same serial number. So the serial number on the gun, the serial number on the knife, the serial number on the case, the serial number on these collective coins, all that's going to match the serial number. Uh, like I say, it comes, it comes with a gun. All the knives and everything are serial numbered. They're all coded the same. Uh, these are made by Southern Grind. Very, very high quality brand. Very high, high quality knives. Uh, they have a Pelican recharge with a flashlight that comes with it. Uh, and per Zach, he actually wanted a Zippo lighter. Uh, and they come with this case too and everything serial numbered. We're going to be offering these guns for sale for second week of December. Um, the first hundred are going to be auctioned off, and after that, like I say, this goes, uh, this is to help his uh, Camp Southern Ground, right? It's Camp Southern Ground. Uh, great, great camp, great uh, benefit for good kids. When you dive them back there, we'll be able to get you one of those. Yes, sir. Yeah. Actually, we're, uh, we'll sell them online, mm -hmm. um, so you go. You can actually order them, and we'll ship them right to your FFL. You know what I mean? We're going to try to not go through as many steps to keep the price down. So this kit sells the whole gun, $3,500. Really? Yeah. And, I, and I'm sure you know the, the cost of just those two things right there. Oh, yeah. Is that, so. That's really cool. I would say that's okay. Yeah. We, but we really didn't have this. That's how our team works. They, uh, here with Cody. Cody, what do you do here at Diamond Bay? Uh, well, I do a little bit of a uh, little bit of this, a little bit of that. But technically, I'm the gunsmith for Diamond mm -hmm. Um I do a lot of R and D. We do test, uh, research, try to find uh, new products and how we can better it. Uh, I also tra travel around with Kaylee, the lady you just talked to, and we go to go to shows and we tell people about our product. And it's nice being the guy with the grease on his hands talking to the customers yeah. because they really it respect makes a difference. That. It makes a difference. You know, a lot of time, customers in the show they they and they do they'll seek out a guy and talk to him. They don't want to talk to the next guy. Mm -hmm. They want to talk to the guy that, that works on the gun. You know? That's absolutely. Well, it's cool. How long you been at Diamond? I've been at Diamondback just coming up on five years. Yeah. Did a. Uh, Basically, I had a military background, came in, and I had some friends that worked at Diamondback, and, you know, I took a little break, and ha I even mm -hmm. had me a garden, you know what I mean? Yeah. Got, out of, got out of the military, I said, you know what, I'm going to take me a break. I've been gone for eight years, I'm just going to relax. One of my friends called me up and said, hey, you want a job? Come here, I didn't know what I was going to do, so it first started off building guns, and then, you know, dealing with guns, basically my whole life, you know, I'd say, hey, this isn't right. Mm -hmm. So instead of me asking them, hey, what's wrong with this, they were just like, hey, figure it out. Things led to it, and then you know that kind of helped me progress in Diamondback. And now, I mean, you can you can do your own research and look at Diamondback and see where we've came from. It's been mm -hmm. a, a collective group that's continuing to bring Diamondback mm -hmm. up to the next level, and we're, we're not going to stop. One thing I like about Diamondback as a company, you want everything made here. Yes, you're sir. not importing a bunch of stuff and just assembling it. You know, you're not depending on all these other vendors for your parts. You're making them. You know, we saw the machinery back there. A lot of nice machinery back there making parts uh, and checking parts, keeping the standards high. And uh, now you're making parts for other uh, AR makers now, right? Barrel yes, sir. Not, not even just AR makers. Yeah. I mean, we have different style barrels that doesn't even retain that, you know, AK, uh -huh. shotgun barrels. Uh, we have our own barrel shop. So, I uh -huh. mean, even people that want a barrel, they can, you know, they can contact Diamondback Barrels and order barrels themselves. So the only thing, Alfred, you know, you, uh, your prices are good. 
Yes, sir. One of the lowest price ARs on the market, but still good quality. You know, a lot of people, uh, they hold that against you. Know, some guys, they say it can't be this good, but then you take it out and shoot it. You know, you get great groups out of it, you know. People don't need a $4,000 AR uh, to, to do what they need to do with that. Yes, sir. And, and they work, they're American made, they're good, good firearms from a good company. Yes, sir. Glad to be here. Well, I appreciate it. And you know, the, the best thing that happened to us is the new building. And that's the, our new building has actually helped us bring our prices down because instead of driving trucks around, bringing parts from our other facility to this facility, we're all right around the corner mm -hmm. now. So the only corner that we're cutting is basically not having to drive down the road anymore. So when I need a barrel, guess what? I go right next door and say, hey, I need a barrel. And that's where, and that's where money is being saved. Cool. Thanks, Cody. Hey, thank you, and I appreciate y'all coming out.